And the rain falls. It can tell. What in the world is this thing? What is going on, everybody? I am the Dragon Lad, and welcome to another episode of Just Cause 3. In the last episode, we took control of a few areas, but we uh, had a little bit of difficulty with the battles that took place at Sirocco Nord. Now, uh, we're going to continue our way up. Uh, the main part, the main uh, reason for this episode is just going to be continuing up north. Going to start off down here at Sirocco Sud, uh, which, uh, what's, where's the next base? It is definitely this one. And the last one should be, no, it's not going to be there. It may be up there. Somewhere up there. Anyway, so we're going to continue working on all of the bay. Oh, this actually might be it right here. Wait, no, this is Sirocco Nord. Okay. Uh, now, like I said, uh, we're gonna get, we're just gonna work on moving upward. All right. We're gonna start from the south and then move our way to the top. This right here is definitely a base. Yeah, you can ar already see the antennas and everything. So why don't we get a little closer up there? Whoa, I got a little bit bigger than you expected. Pretty soon, eh? Well, here we go. So Vigilator Sud is. So our next target, and that's this humongous base. This is actually pretty big. I mean, take it all. Look at all those, but also look at all those benefits. There we go. You guys see better. There we go. Anyways, there. Yeah, take a look at all those benefits right there. That's like this is really good. All right, here we go. And to start. Let's wait until they can't see us. Forget about it. <laughs> they just let us hack a Sam turret. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. here for a vantage point. Uh, we're going to want to raise that up for later. Uh, something's going to be happening later. So that is the gate. All right. Oh, passed out drunk <laughs> during his job. Uh, ah, couldn't reach. Shiny things. I wonder what they're used for. Oh. Crap. They're used for exploding. Or at least they should be used for exploding if this can get destroyed eventually. Okay, this is very anticlimactic. Because this thing is supposed to explode. Pistol? Oh, whatever. Okay, are you serious? These things are supposed to explode. Like that. Exactly like that. Hey, we're on one of these things. Drop down to here. Higher up here. And watch the ship. Yeah. Hmm. 
Bada bing, bada boom. Aren't you guys missing something? You know, like a Sam turret of some sort? Alright, so this guy can dodge and weave. Um, one little piece of advice is... If you hack a Sam and you steal a helicopter... Don't just get out of there because your friendly Sam doesn't know that you are in the helicopter. It does not know that the one that it hacked, that hacked it, is in the helicopter. So the, it will continue to fire its missiles, but it's not, it's not the Sam turret's fault. So, I mean, it, it's trying to do its job. So let's hack this one really quickly. I need to follow my own advice. Alright. Set up here. Screw all these things. Whoa! And that clear path is is the gate that we... Did you die? Is the gate that we tethered somewhere down below. So, that's why I, um, that's why I used the tether on the gate. And is this thing? Oh my god. Much better. Is it a smart idea to explode that I'm so close by? We're still alive, that's what counts. Anywhere else? Anywhere else? No? Uh, these things are cool. Um, like, they, like, they are specifically made to shoot aircraft down. But you can also use them to your advantage here. And there. And basically anywhere else where you can find them. We, we have cleared the way. We definitely have. Ow. Ow, that hurt. That's what I thought. Stupid. Ah. Right. Uh. Okay. Now these are gonna be one of the more challenging things to take down. This gigantic satellite. You're gonna be finding these uncommonly around the land. Not saying commonly, but not saying rarely. So to take these things down very easily, well, okay, just, just let me show you guys really quickly. Ah! Come on! Ah! Okay, so the way how you're gonna wanna destroy these is literally just set these things down. But make sure that you put them in more places than just one. Why? Just to increase the exploding experience. Alright, so just put one here. Then put this one right here. Yeah, just put that little one. Just right there. Beautiful. Alright, now where's the last gas tank? It is. No. Not one of my problems right now.
Yes, I leap off buildings for a living. Why? Because I can. I'm not sure exactly what country this game is really set in, but... It, uh. Check down here, see if, ooh, wait, hang on. There it is. Oh, wait, there they are. And then, let's kick this off. Well, let's end it here with some fireworks. Wait. Wait, what? Okay. We need just a little bit more oomph. Breath is hot and ready. I don't want it. Ah, oh, come on. That'll do it. And there we go. And the rocket launcher that we have already is unlocked. Yes, makes plenty of sense, doesn't it? Right. Let's get myself something to drink really quickly, guys. And oh, speaking of rocket launcher, the RPG fr frenzy is now available. All right, so let's find ourselves that RPG, RP, RPG, RPG frenzy thingy. RPG Frenzy, this will be fairly easy. But first, without further ado, it is that time of the day once again that is correct. It is time for the Daily Report. Can it be on time this time? There we go. Don't become, try to become British, dude, okay? You respect the British. If you don't respect the British, then you're, then you're not a nice guy. All right, so, obviously just shoot everything down. Now obviously these are a little bit difficult to take down, so what I recommend you do is wait until those flames pop out. Just, just shoot them a few times until the flames pop out for each one. And then what you do, is fire at them again. So that way, they're all prepared to be taken down. It's a nice little strategy, so that way, you know, it's less time consuming. Now, if you wanted to, you could do the same thing with this big thing up here, but you'd probably have to fire at it a few times for it to actually come down, or, Oh no, that was the fuel tank. I was about to say, like, that's a little too, that was way too much, way too much more easier than I was expecting. this challenge so I'll see you guys in a second all right the selective glass is prepared and I cannot remember what the smart glass does I believe the smart glass um, destroys enemy vehicles not friendly vehicles I think Sure. 
Yeah, well, the, the game will tell us. The game is actually pretty good with explaining things. Oh, I should get the camera out a bit more than, than this. I got, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna work on that. Smart glass, grenades explode as soon as they hit a person or vehicle. But the, this one, it says grenades explode as soon as they hit anything. So, wait, what? Oh, maybe it could be on the ground or no, I, I don't know. Then this one, smart glass, then, yeah, so selective glass, smart glass, grenades explode as soon as they hit it. Oh, so with this one, it's, it, if it hits anything, if it hits, if it hits anything, like even an, even an ally, then they're going to get hurt. But if it hits an, but for the smart glass, if it hits an enemy, then it'll only kill the enemy. All right. So that's good to know. Next is Sirocco Skies Tour. All right, I guess I could do a little bit of flying for a minute. Oh, this is a nice little view out here. That's actually. Ooh, there you go. That's that's nice. Up, that's nice right there. The lighthouse at the full moon. Yeah, there's a nice little wallpaper right there for you. Yeah, that's that's pretty. All right, uh, there's something around here. Might be a shrine, perhaps. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. The Sirocco Skies Tour. Uh, I hope you guys are liking the, the uh, cutting in and out part of these videos that I'm getting into. I like it because we can get more done each episode. So that's what I'm gonna try to stick to from now on is just, just in and out with the videos. And oh no, this level. Oh, oh okay. This is a bit of a difficult one, but I'm not too nervous about it though. And we already messed up, or I messed up. Yeah, I actually don't know the right way to go with this one. Wait, wait, we're with this whole map in general. Oh, I missed it by a mile. And another one. And another one, even though that was a fail. And another one. And how about, okay, I'm gonna stop now. Oh, we definitely don't have enough points to get five gears. Yeah. No, I mean, four gears. And plus, like I said, there's many more opportunities out there. So, you know, unless I really, really need, uh, if I can stop stuttering. If, okay, unless we really needed the, um, the, the gear mods, then I will go back and take care of all that. Those challenges for us. All right, so this is gonna be really useful. Uh, get a speed boost while slingshotting by holding L2. Very important, very important. Right. Let's get to the next area. All right, so these are very interesting. These are Di Ravello tapes. These reveal the backstory of Di Ravello. I find these really, really interesting. So, and with each one we pick up, we'll get this. My psychiatric evaluator 
Yeah, strange man. And this, yeah, man, he's, you know, he's not a good dude. He's not a good man. Okay? He is not a good man. But do you understand, though, that the backstory of characters, you know, of really almost any character, really could change everything about them? Because. I mean, you know, he could have had a dark past that could have led to this. I mean, you know, who knows? And who knows? Maybe he does care about his... Maybe he does, maybe he does care about the people, but it's just he's doing it the wrong way. I mean, I do not even know. In this game, for sure, the way his, his leadership is not good, okay? And, you know, burning things to the ground, that's not a good way to go, all right? But what I'm saying is that there could it, that all of this may have not been his fault who knows so now am i agreeing with anything of that is of his leadership absolutely not i mean it, it's just this it's disgusting to think about that so all right now where's the where's the last base okay obviously it's got to be up here maybe it's a smaller one Oh yeah, it is. See, with see here, these are the smaller bases. So they'll be like, they'll be the size of these little lines here. These you know these smaller lines compared to the big bases that are that big. So the smaller ones will be about this size, about about the size of this town. So it could be up here somewhere. It's definitely not. Or oh, I might have just found it. I might have just found it. Hang on a second. It could be a dock. Yes, it is. All right. Thank God for knowledge. 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 All right. And here comes the aunts. bases are easy. Like, they'll take about a minute. See how easy that is? And now... Yes, this province is now liberated. Diva Bello is losing control of this region. Sirocco Sud is now the, re is now the rebel's land. We got this area back, and now the Sirocco Nord needs to be taken care of. Um, this out here is definitely a bigger base. Uh, yes, these challenges. I love these challenges. Ew. Oh, we've already done that. Uh, we need to do that, but I don't really want to do those challenges though. All right, how about this? If we can get this done in time, if we can get this done in a certain amount of time, then we will do these two challenges for the end of the episode. This one, uh, this one, I'm definitely not confident that we're going to be getting five star, five gears, because this is actually a very difficult one to do, so... And, you know, plus, you know, my head to do things the wrong way. So, anyways. Off to Neverland? I don't know. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not sure that you guys can really see it, but Costa di Ravello. Is, does that mean the coast of di Ravello? Is that what that's supposed to mean? Because that's a little unsettling. Just 
immediately destroy things. Yeah, that's right. Better start that chain reaction. statue. Listening to that voice. Twenty four seven. Cause all of this, I, 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 from my understanding, all of this is just propaganda. And then if we can raise the flag, just like that, we take over a town. Easy. Now we are getting Sirocco. Now that we were able to complete this easily. Oh, that's right, we got a big announcement that's about to be made. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. What's up? Ah, uh, the Revella tape. But I don't want to grab it yet because I feel like an announcement's about to be made. Ah, uh, pick it up. Really? Soon as I pick up the tape, I will now bring my saltiness to traveling. So that way you guys don't have to listen to it. Ivory and blow it out. No more Bavarium. Yes, this is a Bavarium kind of game. That uh, really, I guess, has nothing to do with the storyline, I guess. Or none of these challenges really do, so. Alright, now what the, now this is kind this is one of my favorite mini-games for some reason. But basically, you're followed by rocks. Yes. So what you do is you attach this to here. Okay. Now, to make the rocks follow you, you have to press R1. Or no, L1. L1 turns this thing on. That's what makes the rocks follow you. And here we go. And I swear to God, I have no reasoning to why this is so interesting to me, but this is just weird. Like, just whoa. Yeah, that's right, you follow me, my rock minions. And make sure you drive slowly because these, you know, this is, it's, a, you got a good magnet attached to the back of your Hummer. 
but it's not a very good magnet. So always make sure you drive slow and don't worry about the time limit. You can read, you can add on to it. So, oops. and you can do that by getting a bunch of Bavarium like this, drop it into here and scram. Just like that. And check that out, our time limit went above the standard. And yeah, and even the music just intensifies as soon as you get more rocks. So um, make sure you don't use the nitrous and do not use and do not use the turbo jump. Those are two big mistakes that you probably won't want to make. Make sure you stay away from the red barrels because they get attracted to you as well. And okay, to be honest, I actually don't know why that happens. But if it does happen, just press L1 and get back to it. Now be careful, don't get too overconfident about getting that time refill because it happens only a limited amount of times. And yes, you will have soldiers trying to stop you from doing this for some odd reason. So, and you can shoot them down, yes, but that's only gonna make more soldiers cut. Um, try to attack so and now once you do have control over the rocks you can speed up a little bit you know and it is recommended just in case if you do get followed by soldiers but I always like to drive slowly whenever I have the time they should all be dropping in just like that and yes all right and now I'll spare you guys the time of waiting for that long. Seaport scramble is complete. And now we have some gear mods to unlock times two tethers. This will, this will allow you to use four tethers now? I think, I think, I think, but do not quote. Let's take a look. Do, 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 do. Yes, double the maximum number of tethers to four, and then this one is triple the tethers. That is a very hilarious image, even though I am very sorry, guys, but uh, you guys are not going to be able to see it for right now. Well, that is until I can get a nice little setup here going for you guys. That's what I really want to do, is get a setup, get a headset, and just play the game with you guys that way. So that way you guys don't have to see this horrible view here that you guys have had to see for some time. And well, I guess it really brings out the, you know, I am alive, I'm not a computer kind of thing. Not saying that any other channel is, it's just, you know, it's just some people's perspective on these videos can be a little bit, I, I don't want to speak too much about that stuff. I don't want to offend anybody. But I am just saying, though, is just... <sighs> I can't use that. That'd be hypocritical. Um... <sighs> Honestly, I really don't know even know what to say. And you guys saw the Rico the Scorpion himself ripping. Just, ouch. Right, anyways, um... Right, so let's over, head over here to Boat Frenzy. The only reason that I'm doing this challenge in the first place is because there's not a lot of boat, is, there's not a lot of these kinds of, or actually, hang on a minute, this is an explosive one, right? This should be an explosive challenge. Okay, it is, so. All right, so there are enough of these challenges, but ba just trying to get some extra gears. You know, just a few extra here and there. All right, so what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to use the boats to your advantage, but I find that a little stupid because, well, think about this. You got a base this big. How are you supposed to destroy all of this by flying to by flying from one area to the other, exploding everything here and there with only a minute 30? And you guys wanna know something if it's too stupider? You can't even turn it all the way around. This is all you've got. 
So um, what I like to do is I just like to wear some of these things down. So now see what I like about this game is it's countdown starts on first destruction. So the developers decided to let you think about what you wanted to do. And developers, if you're watching this video, thank you for doing that. It saved me a lot of time and stress. So anyways, so let's get started on these two things right here. And oh, never mind. I didn't necessarily want to destroy it right away, but oh well. It'll do. Just, uh, I could destroy it, come on. Now, yes, I kind of got myself in a little bit of a hole here, but don't worry. I got this all under control. I'm experienced. Ah. Uh, oh my god, Rico, why do you move so slow in a vehicle? Use the machine gun. Please don't get me in a salty mood. Uh, we might only get two gears if we're lucky. Alright, come on, move faster, move faster. Mount on the machine gun. Take down the watering tower quickly. Okay, so there goes. Are you serious? It doesn't even turn all the way. Ah, oh, this is a very difficult challenge here. Yeah, well, we're only gonna get one gear. Yeah, see, this isn't this isn't right. Well, here's the thing that I like: is you got four grenades. So, I like that. Anyways, uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try again, see what I can get. You know, maybe I can get two gears or something like that. The most I've ever gotten in this one is two gear is or actually three gears. But uh, I just want to get an extra one. So that way we get we tone it down to five that we need to unlock. So that way we can get smart views. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So I did try again and work out too well, even with the grenades. Yeah. I don't like that challenge, but like I said, we still got plenty more challenges that we can do in that category. So, um, so yeah, but anyways, that's going to be for this episode, everybody. Um, yeah, I do know I took a little, f a few day break. Um, but that's only because, you know, I'm just trying to figure out my life right now, you know, what I'm doing, what I should be doing, and all that kind of stuff. And I want to stick to recording, and that's what I'm going to stick to doing now, because I am able to do it quite a bit more now, and I, I just want to do this again. So, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every view, every like, every comment, and especially every subscription. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Dragon Lab videos. And this has been Soren the Dragon Lad himself burning out. See you guys next time.